Philippines. First, we have Kapuso TV host and actress Patricia Tumula, who will champion on being an advocate for Kapuso School Development Program, which undertakes the building and rehabilitation of schools in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And another GMAKF infrastructure project that is in aid of education is the Kapuso to Life Para sa Kaunaran project that Patricia is also advocating. A few, a few words, please. First of all, I'd like to thank Kapuso Foundation, Jamie Artist, for me um, to be chosen as one of the advocates, especially for education. Um, I share ko lang na. I'm super happy that I get to share both yung advocacy, which is education, because I have a passion project, which is Push to Read project, wherein yun nga, I gather kids from different barangays and I conduct storytelling. And then in line with this um, education program, it's connected. Sabi ko nga eh, lahat talaga ng mamibit mo o lahat ng mga nangyayari sa'yo eh may rason. So dinala ako dito with Jamie Artis at Mimiti Salimil, may rason. So I'm here to raise awareness, to be part of this um, program, to be active, and to um, make the youth realize the importance of education, not just with education, with community nga. And with yung sa in line with Kapuso Tulay para sa Kaularan, nasimulan ko na itong proyekto noong September 8th. We were there para sa Takbo, sa Tulay ng Pagbabago sa Pakibato. Tumakbo kami doon, nag-5 kilometers lang ako doon. And then ito nga yun na, to help sa mga indigenous people, yung pagbuo ng bridge ng Pakibata, yun na yung topic namin kanina. Um, nakatulong tayo ng 400 families, not just for education, para sa economy nila. So, napaka-thankful ako na parte ako dito. Pero Patricia, you know, you should also say that um, you, you, you also studied education. That's why you're really into this. It's because, believe it or not, she's not just pretty, but she graduated with an education degree in Primary education, yes. Right? Child development education. So, kaya connected siya. Dahil I used to teach, I used to teach um, kids even with special needs. So, preschool and then there you go. So, thank you. Thank you, Patricia. Next is multi talented actress and body chef slash entrepreneur, Bea Benene will be spreading awareness on the need to support GMAKF's Operation Bayanihan Relief Operations. Viewers, please, Bea. Hello po, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Titi Tere, Kiki Tamel, Sir Simon, Miss Gigi, good afternoon po. And maraming salamat po sa pagpunta niyo dito. At una-una, gusto ko pong magpasalamat sa GMA Kapusa Foundation. You know, I have been volunteering since I was six. Kakapakita ko nga lang kay Kiki Tamel eh. Kakapakita mo yung picture ni as proof. Proof ko. Ang cute-cute niya, tapachimpi. When I was six years old, I think this is um, unang hakbang sa kinabukasan or yung parang Kids for a Cause, I think. Kids for a Cause um, project of KF. So, um, para sa akin, this opportunity, syempre, I'm very, very grateful for this, uh, for to, to be part of this, to be one of the advocates. Pero I think for me, it's just a label. It's a, it's a different challenge, of course, pero with the label or not, with all the cameras or not, with the press call or not, I would always be here for KF. Um, for disaster relief, you know, uh, alam niyo naman po na, na invite ko rin po yung iba sa inyo before. Um, we produced an advocacy in the film about climate change. And uh, yun, uh, tinatakal po dun sa movie yung uh, climate change awareness, to give awareness to the students, to the people, to the, the, the people in the communities, ganyan. And I think it's important para Parang it goes hand in hand eh, kasi we should be aware, we should be taking care of the environment. And let's not let's not wait for another Ondo or another Yolanda to happen. To, to, para meron tayong i-relief, di ba? Pero since hindi naman po natin mapipigilan yun, uh, disasters come and go. And ito po para sa akin, yung mga taong nasasalanta po dito. Sila yung unexpected day, eh, yung para ang ganda-ganda ng buhay nila. Isang pitik, isang snap mo, mawawala. So, uh, and I'm proud to say that Kapusa Foundation is one of the first few responders, yung pinakaunang-unang pupunta sa mga barangay, sa mga liblib na nasa salanta, to help people. And I'm really excited. Sana po, mabigyan po ako ng opportunity na makapunta talaga doon. Kasi um, kahit... It's not just money, it's not just the food na bibigay mo, pero yung pag-uplift ng spirits nila, yung pag-ano mo, yung pag-encourage mo na it will be better, na um, don't worry, God is there, hindi niya po tayo pababayaan. And yung, ano niya, yung pagpasalamat ng mga tao na 
salamat po. It's really priceless. So, di ba tita, dapat dati pupunta tayong Marawi. Kaya lang, hindi po ako dati po ako napayagan. As in, inaayos na namin yung tickets and everything. Hindi po ako napayagan. Hindi ko po alam kung bakit. Pero yun, sana ngayon, eto na, wala na pong excuse. Wala na pong excuse para sabihin hindi pwede. Kasi eto na yung advocate ko. Eto na yung advocacy ko. Disaster relief. So, kailangan. So, sa akin, gusto ko talagang sumama. So, yun. Um, thank you po. Thank you again. And, Ayun, I'm really, really hoping for for a longer partnership and syempre nandito rin po kami to influence people kasi nanginiwala din po ako na kabataan ng pag-asa ng bayan. So with the um, disaster relief man yan, may it be health, may it be education, it, it's really important for us to prepare for the future. Yun. Thank you po. And the choice of being as the advocate for disaster relief was really, um, it, we really thought about it because Bea has been there with us since she was a kid. Well, uh, what, six years old, five years old? And alam mo, si Bea has never said no to KF. In fairness to Bea and her mother, they're always there. Even though they have shows, they're very busy. That's why we thought, you know, it's really good if we choose Bea for disaster relief kasi Aba, hindi eh, ba yung mga bagyo natin biglang darating na lang? And then biglang kailangan na namin mag-mount. As of the moment, no? Uh, with Tita Mel's exhortation, we're already mounting uh, a next wave of disaster relief for those stricken by the earthquake. Hindi kasi masyadong, hindi kasi masyadong na-affectohan yung mga community sa Davao ng earthquake, ang nasira, mall, or something like that. However, nagbigay na ng appeal ang mga local governments dun sa area ng Davao region na kailangan nung nila ng tulong. The people are too scared to go back home and to go to the evacuation centers. Nandun sila ngayon kumpul-kumpul sa mga schools. So your GMAKF is on its way now to distribute relief goods within the next three days with our new teams. So, Ang tinuro sa amin ni Tita Mel, kailangan we work with you so that once merong disaster na mangyari, we go there immediately. We go when it is needed. So, etong disaster relief na ito, I think it's very, um, it's very apt. But B, that, um, you know, Bea is our advocate kasi she's always there for us. So, thank you, B. Thank you, Bea. And of course, Versatile and talented dramatic actor Roca Nasino will be joining GMAKF's health and nutrition projects, such as the BC Bayan and Give a Gift projects. All right, would you like to share more? Yes, good afternoon. Uh, I just, uh, I feel so new. <laughs> Parang, uh, I, I feel like a, a, a new member of the team na nakasama dito. But I really feel uh, uh, humbled and uh, really, really honored to be part of this. Because um, reading everything and being briefed about uh, the projects that KF has, it just takes me back. Kung kailan bago ako pumasok ng showbiz, ang malit na gawain namin ng nanay ko na magtigay ng pagkain sa mga bata na sa kalsada para makapagtigay sa yan sa kanila sa, sa araw ng Pasko. Ngayon has bloomed into me entering showbiz and uh, being able to provide more to more kids and uh, I don't know with uh, children with cancer, because I'm a cancer survivor mom. Ko. And then now, blooming even more to be part of uh, Campus Foundation. And now, siya sabi nga ni Bea and all our executives uh, of their adventures and their experiences of going to uh, different parts of the Philippines. Sabi ko, um, kakaibang experience ito. And I just feel so excited because totoo nga siya sabi nga eh, uh, yung kabataan natin, sila talagang future natin. And to be able to go there, to bring artists over there, mga idol nila doon, pero itong mga idol na ito, mga well-equipped na idol, pagpunta doon ay mga, mga kapagbahagi ng edukasyon. At uh, lalo na sa, sa posisyon ko, I feel that it, this is very timely. Dahil um, sabi ko, ma may ipabahagi ko yung mga kaalaman ko bilang isang nurse, uh, isang frustrated doctor ako, pero siyempre hindi ko na makakamit yun. Pero, <laughs> bakit hindi? Kaya pa. <laughs> Pwede pa. But, um, 
Ang sabi ko totoo naman po eh, kapag uh, in terms of uh, health and uh, medical issues and uh, medical professionals going to uh, other, sa mga lip-lip na lugar, syempre yung mga, uh, mga kapuso natin na uh, in need, hindi rin nila naiintindihan. So sa tingin ko, mga yung part ko dito sa mga kapuso natin, yung pagbibigay ng layman's term, uh, yung pag-explain sa kanila na maayos para maintindihan nila ano itong ginagawa natin para sa kanila. And uh, for me, I enjoy uh, imparting knowledge. I enjoy teaching. Uh, Dala to sa, ano, sa aking uh, kurso. And, and it's, it's timely because this Saturday, I'll be graduating as a reservist uh, of the Philippine Navy. Sabi ko, magagamit ko yan lahat uh, in, uh, in, uh, in our projects. So, perfect. Kasi kasama pong AFP eh. So, natutuwa po talaga ako sa mga proyekto natin. Um, these projects will really, um, if pwede nga po, I can bring my mom along. No? Yeah. Para po sa kanya, malaking malaking uh, uh, katuan para sa kanya yan. Para, para ma-experience yung ganito. Uh, I just feel happy that uh, we will be able to spread joy and give hope to people, lalo na in terms of health. Uh, uh, children with cancer, um, different kind of hope ang mabibigay natin sa kanila with uh, these projects. And uh, excited lang ako makapag-import ng knowledge sa mga kapuso natin, lalo na sa mga kabataan. So thank you for having me on board and I'm really, really excited to uh, experience what they experience for hopefully for the next few years also. So thank you, thank you for having me part. Uh, I'm not so sure if everybody is familiar, pero Rocco's mom is a cancer survivor. So that's why the advocacy of cancer is very, very dear to them. Because very rarely are, are people able to survive it. So one of the projects of Jimmy Kapusa Foundation, which Tita Mel founded very early on at the start of GMKF, is our Kapuso Cancer Champions. Every year, we, uh, we look for 20 kids with good prognosis of uh, cancer na matutulungan namin and we give free chemotherapy sessions. In fact, we're going to launch that this Friday for this year, no? So um, that's very important to our health projects. And um, si Rocco has already expressed his desire to go with us in our quarterly medical missions. Uh, this November, we're going to be going to Negros Oriental, no? which is one of the top 25 poorest provinces in the Philippines. And dun kami mag-uumpisa uh, with a polio vaccine, the free polio vaccine. Magbibigay kami. And of course, um, ano, Rocco, since he's a master's degree holder in BS nursing, uh -huh. uh, diba? Um, pwede siya mag-volunteer. 